true with me. I'm getting one got more, more by the day. I guess I'm getting old. Okay, listen. This is the food court. You know the food court where people, the bureaucrats, the snobs, they come here. They want fresh air, and uh, you know they enjoy food. Uh, it's not restaurants across in the tannery. People go there, the snobs, and enjoy nice, good. Fredericton food. Now, the less fortunate, the welfare bum, voila. Uh, I, I go there a little bit more lately. I will admit I got no food over my place. The only reason I got no food is I will eat it. You know, I have no self-control whatsoever. I'm a reform smoker. So if I'm hungry, I go to Victory Meat Market, get something. Or, Jack's Pizza on Tuesday, three dollars. You know, like I don't, I'm not starving. But I'll tell you one thing. I was so upset at noon today. I was really, really pissed off. Not the first time. It's closed, I guess. So anyway, um, what really, really got me going? This been this this got me going for years. <laughs> you had people that goes at the Fredericton Community Kitchen. The Fredericton Community Kitchen has the best, most friendliest volunteer in the whole city. Staff, volunteer, serve with a smile. And it's, you can eat all you want. It, it, it's the best soup kitchen, in my opinion. I've never been to other soup kitchen across Canada. I've been to one in St. John and Moncton. But it's the best one in Moncton. But the people are lined up, they want food. Okay, no problem. Now there's some of them that believe the soup kitchen, the welfare bums, I'll say that, I'm the welfare bum. It's just like a black guy calling a black guy a nigger. Oh, I could do that, I'm black. I'm a, I'm a Frenchman, I could call a Frenchman a frog because I could do that, I'm French. Welfare bum, the welfare bum. But they stand up and some of them, they really appreciate the soup kitchen. But some of them, oh, uh, I don't want no onions in my food. Oh, I don't want this in my food. I don't want that. I tell the volunteers, tell those e idiots, listen, the diplomat is behind, is behind the building. Now, that's bad enough. But what I, what I witnessed this morning, and I seen it before, and for the life of me, I cannot understand there was an old lady about 75, 80 years old. She had her hood open. She had a box. And she was waiting for somebody from inside to get the box. It was a box full of bread from the St. Dustin Church, I was told afterward. And you know what? Just this old lady waiting. Every people walking by never even offered to carry the box inside the kitchen. I've seen it many times. No, the food arrives. And everybody. They don't even help. They don't even say, oh, let me grab that little, little bag of carrots that I could bring it up and help. Why would somebody be in the soup kitchen, ask for food? They don't ask, they give it away. But the food has to come from somewhere. And how come they don't offer to help? I'm not going to be a... I took the box, I bought it in, and I, I'm sorry, I was swearing inside. I was so blocked, I was saying I was so fucking mad that seeing these people walk by. So anyway, to all the welfare bums, including moi, or anybody, especially the soup kitchen, you see a, a, a truck or an old lady showing up with food get off your goddamn ass and walk forward and say can i help you is there something wrong with this come on smart the hell up